Commit to number two. Reset our row counter to zero, zero, zero. River set back to zero, zero, zero. No buttons are in play. Machine is turned off. And we will knit across and then put in our river comb. Resetting our attention to one and one. PR and PR. I will back up my camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm going to try and put in this river comb again. Gotta remember to put the clip on my yarn. my weights on 20 and 20 going across up to three up to three resetting the row counter now I'm doing 30 rows again. So, here we go. Oh, nuts! Okay, so I forgot to take it out of PR. I'm going to back it up the two rows, and then we'll come back and we'll do the proper 30 rows. Well, that was naughty. Okay, so, roll back up. We're at zero, zero. It's three, it's three. And I'm going to do it. Okay, look at that better. Okay, so, 30 rows. Come back to the next Just like before, the transfer, all the river, up, onto the main. And I'll come back. All right, down we go. I'll come over here, 50. 55, other turn marks, turn on, step, cancel, 902, step, step. Yes, 902, because this is the other side. We're still reversing the colors, hit across, and then put on the next yard. We will also be set a row count to 000 before we start in this time. MC, introduce the yarn, make sure it clicks, put the yarn. Okay, so just like before, around row 24, we will have this time, on this side of zero, there will be a numerous number of stitches, 11 or 12, that will come out to all one. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the um, laddering, all the time. Okay, so the ladder. This is going to be the ladder. Okay, this is going to be a really long one, but we'll call it white, so we won't worry about it. Oh, here's one flyer. Okay. So here's that long float. Okay. Flatter it up. Flatter it up. Flatter it up. Okay. Flattering. Flattering. Look good. Yeah, I'm still down quite a bit. Okay, it's not going to kill us. Okay. Flatter. We're at row 20. Look good. That was fine. Okay, we're at 23. Uh, that one doesn't matter. We're having a light on this side. Okay, now you see those big ones came out again. So this is where our bumps are going to be. So we're looking on that side, nothing we can ladder. We're going to go across and then use our um, contrast here again. Okay, concentrating hard. Grab your contrast. Down between the beds. One, two, three. Well, this one seems to have 14, so what we're going to do is we're going to back this one up. One, two, okay. Now, we're going to leave those in forward working, and we're still going to knit off these ones in red. Okay, for the second time. Okay, we're going to contrast. And we're going to grab that same quality that we used before, move this one in, pull it down from underneath, and move those forward. Okay, get that little puff, move that quality up. A little bit. I feel a little bit concerned about that one on the end, but not about the other ones here. They seem to be okay. If you're not sure if you're going to get off, just have a little extra weight for it. Okay. A small barrel weight. Got a little bit of extra pull. Once it's securely knit off, you can remove that extra weight. Okay. So those are all forward. We're going to change row 74. 
Now you will still be tempted to try and cut this in. Don't. We will do it at the end, okay? So that's not fun. And we will continue. I'm going to pause the video, go up to row 74, and then we'll turn back. All right, so that is row 74. Just like before, we're going to bring out some stitches. Cut our white yarn. Leave it in. And then in a couple rows. Turn off the pattern. Turn off the pattern. Okay, two rows. Oh, okay, I'm sure you should get out of the easy one. No worries, it's not, not a big deal. No harm done. And I'm going to transfer every second stitch. Very carefully. And we'll pull it back. All right. Now, we'll pull it back. And we'll pull it back. Now, what I see is one of these stitches is not knotted off properly. So we'll just move it back on its end. Not a deal. Pull it out. Engine two. Two rows. One, two. Excess of my yarn. One, two. I'm going to cover the river and remove the work of the machine. So as you can see, we have some zombie pops system. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's supposed to be on the opposite side. Oh, lovely, because this is inside. Right. So no worries. I'm on the opposite side. We'll now do the thumb. Okay, so we will do the top again. Bring the yarn again. Alright, bring it across, and then we're going to adjust that last one. We'll count to zero, so 56 rows going across. Okay, now we're going to grab this yarn tail. One, two. One, two. That way. One, two. This way. One, two. Now, you will try to eat, but that way. Okay. That's that one there, and we can make the cross ones. reason that didn't move. Maybe it did. Nope, it didn't. Okay, so there's something wrong with my row counter. We can go a little bit slower here. Nope. Okay, so my row counter just died. And so I'm going to remove the work from the machine. And uh, back it back up. Well, that was pretty scary. So, yeah, my row counter is not working. Don't know why. But, you know what? Poop happens. Let's move on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer my stitches over. I'm not going to worry about my safety line. Alrighty, no worries. So now we're going to knit around twice. Tension two, tension two. One. Okay, that one didn't knit off. Just a second here. Okay. I'm going to lift these up so that they knit off. You'd think that they would. Alright. Put this up. That knit off. 
one more time around. And this one again. It's just being difficult. Okay. Now we're going to remove our weight and we're going to gather it up. Okay. Close that up. And we're good to seam it up. And there we go. Pair of mittens in under an hour.